What up guys, Real Touch Email here, back with another Java tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to get keyboard input. So if we go ahead and play our game right now, you can see it's just a blue square. It's not a very fun game, if a game at all. So we're going to add some keyboard input there uh, and make him move so that it'll be a, a 10 times better game. So what we're going to do here is if you go to your main class here, and you'll notice main class is uh, has a yellow underline. Just hover over it and say add default serial uh, version. And you can go ahead and delete that. But that's just a Java thing. Just go ahead and do that. I recommend doing that every time you create a new class and you've got that yellow thing there. So what we're going to do is in our player class, we are going to implement uh, key listener. And go ahead and import that. And now you see we're getting an error here, and that's because we need um, all the methods that the key listener holds. So go ahead and hover over player, and then just press add implemented, um, unimplemented methods here. And it creates a key pressed, key released, and key typed. We're not going to be using key typed uh, today, but the methods kind of explain themselves. So this is when you key release, this is when you press it. So that's, if you're familiar with GameMaker, this should be familiar with you so in the argument zero here just uh, give a variable I'll just say e and what we're gonna do is uh, up top here we are going to create two more variables we're gonna do private int VELX and we're gonna equal to zero and private int VELY and we're gonna equal that to zero now this is the velocity in the x direction and this is the velocity in the y direction so what we're going to do is in the key press, we're going to create a switch statement. Uh, so we're going to do switch e dot get key code and hit the brackets. So now if you're not familiar with switch statements, it's just pretty much, um, it's just a matter of, it's kind of like a if statement on steroids. So what we're going to do is we're going to say case um, key event dot um and here's where you can do all of your vk stuff so if you are familiar with game maker they do use this so we're going to do vk right go ahead and hit a colon there and then curly brackets you're going to do another one case key uh event dot vk left colon and then the curly brackets and i'm just going to do this two more times here Okay, whoops, and I'm just going to indent this real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to do this up and down. So you can, this is pretty much self-explanatory. This is if he hits the, uh, the right arrow key. This is if he hits the left, the up, and the down. So what we're going to do is for this velocity x and this velocity y, if we hit v, uh, vk right, we're going to set velocity x to equal 5. Now, 5 uh, positive on the x-axis is going right, negative is going left. And then we're going to go ahead and break it because if we if you press the right key, we don't need all this other code because we've already gotten this. So same thing down here, we're just going to do velocity x equals negative 5. And then we're going to break it. Make sure you break it because you'll get some problems if you don't. Then we'll do velocity y and it'll equal negative 5 and break it. And then velocity y equals 5. And then break it. So there you go. And now I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And paste it down here uh, in the key released. And in the key release, we're just going to set it to 0. And if you don't do this, then your player won't stop moving. So there we go. And it looks like I need one more here. So that's pretty much it. Now what we're going to do here is in the update class, we're going to say x plus equals uh, velocity x and y plus equals velocity y. Because um, these velocity x and velocity y don't mean anything. They're just variables that you're setting if they don't actually do something. So now that you've done that, if you go ahead and play the game, you'll notice that your player still does not move. And that's because we need to add a key listener in there. So in the update method, what we're going to do is we're going to say mc.add key listener this. 
and we do MC because that's the main class. So referring to the main class here, we are going to add the key listener to this instance or this class, and that will pretty much just listen for the keys. And um, so if you did not have that, then it would not listen for this VK right. It would just go through it. So now if we go ahead and play it, go ahead and make sure to click on your screen and your player should be able to move uh, in all eight directions or all directions for that matter. So that was the tutorial for today. Go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with adding some good stuff to our game. Okay.